Hello guys, another edition of your everyday computer software tips and tricks and today I have for you another tutorial on how you can integrate a payment system onto your WooCommerce website. That is a WordPress WooCommerce website. Now I'm on the Flutterweave website right now and as you can see, you are going to see how we can integrate our website with um, with your payment gateway so that we can receive payment from our client. So if um, integrating a payment system into your website so that you can accept the Visa card and Momo payment is something that you are looking to do. And stick and stay in the video because we'll be covering that and more. So this is my e-commerce website here. And when I click on one of the products, then I go to, it takes me to the next page where I can add it to my cart. Then on to the next where I can now view my cart. I'd want to see if we can make payments through um, a Visa or mobile money um, account. As you can see, I have my product here, but when I go to the proceed to checkout page, um, you can see I'm not able to pay. It says cash on delivery here, pay with cash upon delivery. But we want to be able to add a payment system where the users can pay either with a Visa card or with their mobile money account. So, and this is with um, using the Flutterwave and payment, payment gateway. So how do we go about this? So first, we need to go to the back end of our WordPress website. Just go to the plugin section over here. Now go to add new. And on the add new section, the search bar on the right, just search for um, Flutter Wave. You see the plugin that you can use to integrate the Flutter, the Flutter Wave payment gateway. Now, um, a couple of plugins will, will show up in the search. Now, the one that you have to download is the one that says WooCommerce Repayment Gateway. Now, there are other ones, but for what we are doing right now, we would want to go with the WooCommerce, the one that we can integrate with WooCommerce. So, WooCommerce Repayment Gateway, that is um, developed by Tanbunsun Nyinla. So, this is the one. It has a good number of reviews here. So, go ahead and install and activate i've already installed and activated it so i don't need to do it again so go ahead and um, install it once so once you are done installing it just come to woocommerce here and then go to settings now in the settings sections go to payment so that now you can see flutter wave has been added wave by flutter wave has been added to our payment options here all you need to do is just turn it on and finish come to finish set setup so when you click on finish setup you come to this page here make sure that enable rave is checked scroll down and also make sure that enable test mode is also checked because we want to run a test to make sure that everything works before we release it to the public so that they can pay with their account so let's head to flutterwave.com just type flutterwave.com and it will bring you it will bring you to their website here now we need to create an account with flutterwave so go to sign in and if you don't have an account you can just come to the top right hand corner here and create an account for yourself now you need to fill in your details your country your first name last name email address your business name and your password that is all you need to be able to create an account. So I already have an account. So let's head over to my account dashboard. So over here is my account dashboard. Um, so remember, we wanted to get the test um, keys so that we can test the payment gateway to make sure it's working. So head over to on the account dashboard, head over to settings, go to API keys and go to test API keys. Then let's public, let's um, copy the public key. So you just hit on copy, just head back to uh, uh, WordPress e-commerce dashboard, paste the public key in here. 
let's go back to dashboard again um we need to copy the secret key so the secret key copied we come back and then paste that also here now you can also check on enable payment via saved card so that when anybody pays with a card and they are coming they return to make another payment their card will be already saved for convenience and purposes so once the test public key is or the text secret key are pasted just hit on save changes and now let's head back to our front page and see if the test mode is active now so let's just refresh our page here now as you can see rave is now added to our payment options so if you want to pay with a uh, visa or mastercard or mobile money just the client just needs to hit on this proceed to place the order and then it will bring them to another page that says pay with uh, pay now so you can just click on pay now and i will take them to a page where they, they can see they can select select the payment option whether it's a card that is a mobile money or butter which is another form of um, payment system they can use so with this they can let's just say we want to pay with mobile money um, a dummy mobile money number has been provided for us because we are still in the testing phase we can select any of the uh, mobile money um, options here or networks here and now let's click on pay so it says you will be the redirected to complete this payment just click on proceed and though it will say payment cancelled by customer this payment or test phase is not we, we are convinced that that is working now but um, we want to do a live test to also make sure that the customer gets an otp request that will make them enter that to um, to confirm that they actually want to pay on your website so we are back again on our wordpress dashboard this time we want to disable the enable test mode button we want to go live now so let's head back to our dashboard now let's go to live api keys our live our public key and security key are provided here so let's just copy head back to our website paste the public key head back again copy the secret key and also put that in here now let's save the changes so mind you we are going live now so now people can actually pay um on their on your website with their account so let's just head back to our home page again and click on one of the products here go to add to cut view cut and now let me just remove one of the items here okay use the quantity update cut here now let's just say we want to pay yes yeah, so now proceed to check out okay, let's fill out our details here Click on Rave, place order, pay now. So I know I'm on a page now. Let's just try and make payment. So I just click on choose network, network, choose MTN, and then I'll enter my MTN number right here and see if I'll get an OTP which I'll enter to confirm payment. So pay now. Proceed now my OTP just came in so all the client needs to do is enter that OTP here and the transaction will go through so this is a very simple way to integrate a payment system onto your WooCommerce um, WordPress website using the Flutter way I also have a video where I talk about um, using Paystack as well you can check out that video right here I also wanted to mention that if you are a newbie with uh, WordPress and WooCommerce and you are looking for where you can get affordable hosting services and also buy domain names for affordable prices, 
I highly recommend Namecheap to you. I've used them for about five years now and they are very, very good. So you can go onto their website. I've, I've left a link in the description below where you can use the link to um, buy or go to their website and get hosting services and domain names at affordable prices. So I highly encourage you to click on the link in the description um, and it also help me to get a little commission when you buy from this um, from Namecheap. I hope this video was useful and if you found this tutorial useful please don't forget to like the video and also hit the subscribe button so it encourages me to do more videos for you and you can also hit the notification bell so you are notified for the upcoming new videos I'll be uploading. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.